Mm. Mm. Maybe it's the quarantine, but it feels really great. What are we drinking today, James? Today we're drinking Severe Tire Damage New England IPA by Fat Orange Cat Brewing Company. Cool, where's that? <sighs> Connecticut, I think. No, wait, <laughs> I had to ask them. one question I didn't know right <laughs> off the bat. East Hampton, Connecticut. Severe Tire Damage has 8% alcohol by volume. Hmm, I believe mm. that's ABV. Mm hmm got it, Good got it, beer got it, knowledge. Got it. It's got a pretty neat label. Uh, got the cat on, um, like, a turntable? Like a cat. It does look a cat. Yeah. I love this cute little orange cat. What was the cat's name? Billy. So Aww, that's sweet. The brewery is named after their former brew cat, Billy. Former? Yeah, he passed away. Oh, I don't want to know that. Erase that knowledge. Oh, such a cute cat. He died. <laughs> My Mario glass broke, so it's kind of a bummer. Well, we tried to use it for a while, but cutting your lip wasn't really worth it. I thought it was, but that could be a really good argument. And I had a hard time arguing back because my lips were cut up so bad. <laughs> All right, so tell me about the color. Ooh, it's like hay. It's like straw. Yeah, it's like straw. Very, sugar. quite yellow. It has an amazing aroma. Nice uh, hoppy, full hoppy aroma. Not really any malt aroma. It's sweet but fruity. So yeah, smells good, looks good. Let's... Uh, <clears throat> smells good, looks good. Cheers! Ooh, mm. I like it. It doesn't taste like uh. an orange cat at all. <laughs> <laughs> I got you on that one. As far as orange cats go, yeah, this tastes like shit. <laughs> oh, there's a cat. A fat black cat. The New England style IPA versus a. <laughs> this is a great example of a well balanced New England style IPA. It doesn't overdo it on the hops, but it is very hop forward. It, is very um, it has a nice bitterness to kind of cut the sweetness at the end, just a mm -hmm. really, really light bitterness. I'm it's really enjoying this beer. Such great descriptors. You know what I can contribute? Lacing. Oh, look at that head retention. I was going to tell a story. Is it a dead cat story? I mean, it's dead now, but it wasn't when the story started. Oh. Wait. When I <laughs> so growing up, my first cat was named Cornfield. Oh. It's because my uncle found it. Guess where? At a grocery store. Gas station. Under the house. The cat's name was Cornfield. We had a cat named Jasmine. We changed her name to Psycho because she <laughs> ran back and shit. forth. And she was crazy. Because <laughs> you found her behind she, you with a knife. She tried to kill me in the shower a, a cat, couple times. A cat that can hold a knife. I've heard of a cat burglar, but a cat murdered her. Wait a minute. In 1996, we found a cat under our house, and you know why I remember it's 1996? Because we named that cat Bob Dole. <laughs> Who was running for president in 1996? Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> we had Bob Dole for a while. Bob Dole was great. We really liked Bob Dole. Bob Dole was cool. I once took a cat across the street to play with, and when it ran back across the street to get to the house, it got hit by a car. I don't remember its name because it didn't last long. Oh my god. This is a lot of cats. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to know any of it. How many cat's lives would you give this beer? I don't want to oversell it, but I really enjoy it. I would give it at least 90? 90. 90 cat's lives. 90 cat lives. Jeez. That's 10 cats. It's nice. Yours is gone. Mine's gone. I really like this beer, clearly. We keep picking great beers. Thank you very much, Bad Orange Cats. It was Thank you. perfect. We were waiting for that one. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. My name is James. My name is Becca. And we'll crap in your litter box next time. And until then, cheers. That was good, right? It'll work. <laughs>